Okay, now we're starting Mystery Doors number two. Okay, when the uncle of the, this this boy died, he he was like one year feeling like he have to open the door or not open. Like he was like feeling like that kind of thing. It's like he's going to open or he's going not to open. You know. Then he's like tired of that feeling, you know. Then he walk it and he uh, open the door, you know. They, that was like very hard to open the door because there was a lot of things would have to remove first. When he removed first and then he opened the door. He just li watched the, you know, just little, like, little, you know, what is behind them because if he think like there's something bad and he's going to close fast or something you know then when he uh, opened the door he see just he you know how what is how what is going just straight you know straight you know he was like looking that's how like what is this house end what where, where is that this house is going to end you know he's thinking like Eating like he have to must find out what is behind this weird hall, you know. Then he walk it in that hall, you know. He walk it, walk it. The hall will, the hall, hall, you know, hall was so long that he was walking like for one hour to get in other side of this hall, you know. When he was in the other side of the hall, there was a beach. Just just beach there there was nothing else just beach you know and behind that beach was a mountain you know where he just came out you know then he, he was like when Miss Chavis is in this beach you know why my uncle said I cannot come here I'm, I, don't, I don't understand he just thinking like that then he just throw throw rocks into the sea then he sit down and thinking something then he, he feels like very very odd because the wind don't blow blow in this way you know not like normal it was blow uh, it was like wind was going like up and down he was like what because his head was going like you know then he was something big catch him, you know he took him in the sky you know up to the sky and this boy wake up there in the sky you know like he was like oh my god like where am i then he was his, his what 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 was what caught him you know he was like this he found out he, it was big bird you know very big huge bird you know then he would start to cry because he think the bird is going to eat him, you know. But no, the bird fly like one hour in, in straight path in somewhere. Then he uh, bird come down in a little Iceland, you know. Little Iceland. When he's come down in the little Iceland, the bird put him down. Then the bird fly away, you know. Then the this boy watched this this weird Iceland with him was where he was. He was like, there was like five trees, you know, there was no food, no nothing, food, no nothing, you know. He started to cry because he know that he's going to die in this weird Iceland, you know. He's thinking, why I, why I opened the door? My uncle was saying to me, don't open, because he, he know something about bad in this. But he just started to cry and cry, but then when one day passed, and it was on the next day, you know. In the morning time, he was sitting in, in the this, this weird Iceland. He saw something shining from the sea. You know, something shining came from the sea. You know, it was like the. He found out that it was a big ship, big ship. You know, it was uh, covered by gold, gold. And then he he like shout like, Hey, hey, watch me! I'm here! Hey, hey, come watch me! I'm here! Then the boat, like comes to the, his side, you know, then 
her boat come another little boat and the boat the little boat came to his this little island and there was soldiers you know they asked him like hey what are you doing this island he said um, I was in uh, another boat and the boat was uh, collapsed and I, I, I came from that I swim from the, the, this this little island they would say okay come to our our big ship and he said okay we can he like watching them like what are they you know then he found out that there was they were they were all women you know women not men but women they was all you know they was strong like you know Zina if you know Zina yeah they was like that strong women then this woman soldiers yeah then they took him into the big ship and he go into the big ship there was captain the captain was woman too not man you know he was wo she was woman too and there was all women the old soldier was women and the captain said welcome you are you are going to come our land and you I, you are going to come our king too because in our land there's no single man you know no man there's no any man the, this the boy was like he was thinking like what then he this ship go uh, two days in s and, uh, with some sinkers in the direction some direction you know and they came in and then this woman's Iceland you know the Iceland was like Eden's garden you know it was so beautiful it's, it's, it was most beautiful garden in the world you know in the middle of the this Iceland beautiful Iceland was a big castle in in that middle of the Iceland, you know, this Iceland was like huge, not that small. And then they came out from the boat. <coughs> they all the women go in a line, you know, in like line. Which which you go into the castle, they go online and everyone. And then they give him a horse and and good dress. This new king, you know. And then they say to him, "Welcome, our new king. Welcome, very welcome." And they was like. Do, 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 you know the, do, 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 the trumpet. I don't know how to say English, but yeah. Then he 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 was in a horse and walking into the you know castle. He feel like he was dreaming or something. You know, he was like, am I dreaming? But no, he was very wake because he he kind of touched his skin like hurt himself. Then he found that in dream you know people cannot hurt themselves like something and feel that you know but he feel he's like oh my god I'm, I'm, I'm wake up this is reality then they walk into the into the castle you know next to the castle when they are into the castle there in the castle came very beautiful amazingly beautiful young lady you know the young lady said to him very welcome our king you are going to call my husband i'm i'm this man the queen and you are going to call my 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 king you know then there come old woman who who speaks like hey you are going to marry her and blah 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 and blah 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 you are going to come the king of this land and she is the queen and that stuff like and this king new king he he was asked his wife like hey can you tell me where is the old man of this Iceland? Where where they disappear? The queen said that we used to have mass in this uh, Iceland, but we killed them all. He was like, really? She said she said yes, we killed them all. You know why? Then he said she said because they were all ladies. You know, we killed them. They 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 don't make make food. They don't make nothing. You know that's why. Then he said, aha, okay, I understand. Then was when one year passed. Uh, this king was living a very nice life. He had everything what he wants from this woman soldiers. They go in every land in the world. They took everything what he wants, and the, the beautiful queen had baby for him, the little prince. You know, so he was so happy. You know, in this Iceland, in in this Eden Garden Iceland. You know, so one day he was walking. You know, in the castle. He was walking. He saw in the castle one big door, big like door in the middle of the castle. Then he's thinking like, "Hey, they never tell you what's behind this door." 
and he asked Kumar Islam, go, hey, hey, uh, do you know something about this custom, uh, this door, I mean, and she said, like, yeah, I know, but this, this door is not supposed to open, because Queen said it, he was, he was like, what, Queen said, what, I'm the king of this land, so you open now, she said, no, king, that is not good of door, please, I beg you, no, please, but he said, no, I'm the king of the land, so you open. And same time, you know, Satan was saying to him, hey, you have to open that door. You are the king of this land, so you have to open. Last time when you open it, the other door, you became this land king. So what secrets in, in behind this? Are they covering something from you, or what? The king opened himself that the big door. It was very hard to open, but he opened that. He opened the whole door then. When he watched what's behind that door, he was shocked, he was like, oh no, because behind the door was a very big bird, you know, the bird watching like this, and the king watching like the bird like that, you know, then he started to run in the castle, you know, in the castle room, the bird chased him, you know, then the bird catch him, then the bird fly out from the castle and the beautiful garden, and, and the king was screaming, no, 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 but still the birds fly like with two hours and took him back from first pitch where he was, you know, then teach the bird fly away. Then he was like, no, no, please bird, come back. He was sitting there like two days, but no, the bird never came back. He would cry, start to cry. He now understand why the man, old man was crying, you know. He walked into this old palace, he started to cry and cry and close the door. Then he would start to cry because he's beautiful wife and child he never going to see ne anymore you know so he buy a new slaves or something like that for workers and the story end in here but thank you that you listened if you want more stories you can comment or like it